what up we're back so this is part two um and today we're gonna have some fun with an oil pan so uh let's get after it all right so here's the oil pan out of here cleaned it up a little bit as you can see uh it's all marked up so what we're doing here is we um we're, we're cutting this off to clearance this to cause off one of the two problems first one being clearing that rack also getting the motor to sit lower right so um then second one second issue or problem we're solving is that this sits really low we're going to chop this and then uh that will that will allow us to uh you know this won't be dangling so far down into the uh you know below the engine so uh, i'm just going to use sawzaw maybe the miter saw to chop this up um but yeah and then we'll get test fitting it and welding in some patches Okay, so I uh, took the pan, I cut, finished cutting it, right? So cleaned it out, no metal shavings, so we don't worry about getting in this motor, and I fitted it up. So it looks like we're gonna clear perfectly fine, you know, without hitting the windage tray or the uh, pickup tube. And then, um, obviously we're gonna have to shorten the uh, pickup tube, but everything looks pretty good. I mean, it is a little, um, a little wavy, these cuts, just cause uh, I feel like the nature of using the Sawzaw is gonna be perfect. Uh, so I'm gonna, I have, uh, maybe get a flap disc or something, grind these down or a die grinder with a sanding disc. I marked with a uh, Sharpie kind of the high points and then, uh, you know, I'll just, uh, I'll just sand it down, so. Should be fine. All right, we got some corn flakes. At least the box that is. So uh, we're just gonna be using this to, uh, you know, trace out, make some templates for cutting out some aluminum. So corn flakes all cut out. Uh, three templates. They all look pretty good. So time to trace them out on a piece of aluminum and cut it out. All right, so I got all three of the cardboard. Uh, I guess the cardboard templates traced out onto it. I added a little bit, like uh, just because I don't know, it didn't. The cutout didn't come as good as I thought it was. It, you know, wasn't so. Add a little bit. We can just trim it down how we need. But it's time to saw this thing up. All right. So I use chop saw to cut them all up individual little things. I'm gonna use sawzaw to cut this out. I was gonna use the jigsaw, but I don't have a metal cutting blade for the jigsaw and. This should work fine. So, it's playing. Alright, so I was able to finish cutting them all out. They don't look the best, but I mean, it's the best you can do with the sawzaw. So, and the chop saw. So, uh, just gonna fit them up. And then I think we definitely need to smooth out the edges, kind of get it perfect with a die grinder, you know, with a sanding disc, and then oh, uh, this is all. But if we do that, then we can uh, clean up this aluminum and tack it up. Rusty but trusty uh, piece of shit wire wheel. So I am just gonna clean up the uh, the edges, the welding surfaces on these piece, all the pieces of aluminum, everything that's gonna be anywhere the intersection, just uh, to get a good weld. So prep is 
super key when uh, dealing with the window. So we're gonna wire wheel all these, and uh, then maybe press prep them with some acetone. <laughs> Okay, so now I got a little bit of acetone on a rag. Um, everything was wiped down with a wire wheel. Then it was I went over it with my die grinder inside and outside, uh, like pretty much all of it. You know, like at least you know an inch around each edge. And then now I'm just wiping it down with some acetone. Okay, so what I did was I clamped it down, um, tacked it in two spots because it wasn't 100% sitting on there. There was a little bit of gap, so I tacked it in one, clamped it down so I can tack it in the other. You know, I was pressing up against because the aluminum doesn't really bend, um, but this was like, you know, able to flex a little bit. And then I did that over here, tacked it up. So uh, I think I got one more spot. This is kind of like another spot where there's a little bit of a gap. I'm going to attack it. But after that, um, oh, and I did fit it back up onto the engine. So we're clear for that tube. I think uh, what we're going to do next is uh, just fully weld this. Um, for the most part, I'm going to, you know, and then uh, I'm going to see about what we're going to do for this. Uh, I'm going to wait to do this just because... Uh, I think I'm going to modify the pickup tube before I do weld that on there. So I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of uh, me welding this and yeah. Alright, well I'm not sure how uh, good the camera is going to make it out, but uh, there's some uh, some Ben welds for the first time and uh, it's been a while since I've welded aluminum so I don't know they ain't, they're not too bad you know there's some good dimes they look like they should hold up so yeah I'm just gonna do the rest of this uh, time lapse and uh, yeah So uh, it's all welded up. Uh, I think I need the time lapse a little bit early, but you guys get the point. So there's my dimes. Uh, I just gotta probably finish getting the rest of the frost off of there. But yeah, not, not too bad. Should should hold up. I'll put. Fill this thing up with some oil before we, uh, you know, completely assemble it, but, yeah, alright, so next, uh, I think we're gonna work on that pickup tube. So we got the, uh, welded up oil pan, cleaned out the metal shavings, um, on the motor, so next, like I talked, we're gonna drop this down. So, I think the plan's gonna be, um, one of two options, uh, we gotta go down, like, two and three quarters of an inch, so, um, I, you know, if we could, I would just chop it, but this chop it and re-weld it but this isn't gonna be two and three quarters so it's gonna change the position so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this pipe up take the pan off heat the pipe up bend this a little bit more into position you know maybe my goal would be to gain like an inch out of it and then we'll chop and weld this uh, so to lower it back down so we might want to maintain this angle that it's at and then we also you know, want to maintain the position and then just also have a clearance within the bottom of the pan of like, like a quarter of an inch or less.
right, well, that may not be 100%, but still the pan back on, see where we're at. Might be completely after sales. Who knows? A lot closer. Okay, you can see we're a lot closer um, vertically. Right, I don't know. Bill. We're a lot closer, we're only about probably a half inch off, but the only problem is, is that it's hitting right there. So I think that yeah, we might be able to just uh, heat it up right up here and bend it down and kind of get a little bit closer, and then we can chop if we need to. All right, well, it might be ugly, but uh, uh, it's in a good spot. Yeah, uh, just was able to play with it a little bit more, so I'm gonna grab that pan. I'm gonna throw it on there. So if we take a straight edge, we got something right here. You can see that we are clearing it. So once we throw our old pan gasket on there, it'll lift it up a little bit more. Um, we can also like put it down like that, and it clears it by definitely at least a quarter. Of a little bit, at least a quarter of an inch. So, yeah, it's like a quarter of an inch. So we can maybe, maybe go up slightly higher with it. But yeah, so it should be good. You know, we put the gas on there, it'll raise it a little bit more. So I think we'll go a little less than a quarter of an inch. I gotta make the, um, I just kind of modify that one brace so that way it holds it in, you know, position. And then I will, uh, you know, we'll put the, we'll tack up our plate for the bottom of this welded up. We stuffed uh, some rags and stuff in there. So hopefully the metal doesn't sink too far, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna throw some good tacks up. There's some good couple strong bursts of valve on there. And that's all we need. This isn't, you know, supporting much. I didn't really want to take it apart and I didn't really feel too many of a need to. As long as we had stuff in there preventing the BBs from, you know, getting deeper. Everything's cleaned up, you know, with uh, some mineral spirits, and uh, we are pretty much ready. We'll start where we are, we're ready to start welding, so I'm going to tack it up, and then we can weld it all the way up. So I'm going to do four tacks. Okay, so I got um, like six tacks on here just because it didn't fit up as nice. I didn't really film it because it didn't fit up that very well, so I had to like clamp in all these weird spots and it was getting the vice and stuff like that. So it was just like a pain and whatever. So it's tacked, I'm gonna weld it up. done i think it should be solid i'm gonna wait for it to cool off i'll we'll fill the water make sure we don't have any leaks like any pinholes or something stupid you know i'd rather find them now and that's with both of them i also i'm pretty much out of argon so i kind of was rushing a little bit so but it still looks pretty good so i'm not complaining so i had some water i got some water in the bottom of it it's not leaking i had water filled all the way to the top i didn't really see any leaks anywhere so I think we're good to go. I just got to dump this out and then I'll dry it out and I'll put it back on the motor 
and we should be ready to move on. Okay, so the next part is we gotta add a uh, drain bung to this uh, oil pan. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one out and then maybe I'll just reuse that one. And then I'll clean it, it'll come out. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it out on the uh, chop saw probably over there. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll assess it. So I was able to uh, finish uh, cutting out that uh, that whatever it is, the oil bung, oil drain bung. So next I'm just gonna drill a hole for uh, the center of this and then we'll weld this, uh, this aluminum chunk to the uh, side of it and should be all good for the bung. So I think that's a good spot. next day and um it looks like this is holding solid we got a bunch of water looking chilling in there so yeah i think this oil pan's officially done all right so uh oil pan's on there it's fine i think we're good to go got like half the bolts in it so uh yeah i'm gonna put it in there and then i'm gonna try to see if we can get the trans attached to it and kind of get it more into vehicle position all right well about all we got for today boys so uh like uh if you guys like this video subscribe for the build and uh comment what you guys uh what you guys think so um i'm gonna try to get the next video out there's more progress that i will make you know i'm trying to get this car out you know before uh before end of summer so um i'll see you guys in the next one